Alright, hey guys, Mr. Sam, and welcome to another video. And today, we are going to be taking a look at the Pagani Zonda F. So, yes, today I'm doing this video a little bit different just because the <coughs> uh, recording of my mic actually failed. And uh, I, I don't know, I just didn't want to upload a video with crap mic quality. So I'm doing this uh, commentating over the video. So yes, we are going to be taking a look at the Zond, as I said. Um, and yes, so... So first one, I bought the uh, perf kit for the Zonda. There wasn't that much of a difference. Uh, but when you start actually changing the bumpers and stuff, uh, there is a lot of difference. So yeah, I'm... I'm gonna show you all of the bumpers now. For the front bumper, uh, I wanted to choose something that looked fairly clean, so uh, I chose the first one, so yes. So for the rear bumper, um, I chose this uh, insane one. Um, I was going to choose one with uh, orange, not blacked out, uh, but I really wanted that insane... I keep forgetting what they're called. <laughs> uh, wanted that, so I put that on. Now for the rims, uh, the ones that are on right now was the only ones uh, the, it was the only official ones that you could choose from and I really liked them so that's the one I put on and the wing mirrors basically just took off the flag so I just wanted to have that on and for the spoiler I really liked the one that was on it really suited the car it wasn't something that was extremely huge supercars shouldn't have two big wings so yes that they, they, I really like this one now choosing color for this car was pretty difficult. I uh, I didn't really know what look I was going for. So as you can see here, I did choose a red color uh, that I really did like, but uh, I ended up choose uh, changing it later. But yeah, so that's pretty much the Zonda F customize. Alright, so this is where I went and changed it to a blue color. I I really, really like the look of this car, so I wanted to have the perfect color for it as well. And I really thought that this blue was nice, so I put that on. So, the sound of the Zonda F is exactly the same as with the Wira, which was a little bit disappointing. Like, originally this car was gonna be a car that you had to pay money for, so I'm really disappointed that it couldn't have a separate sound for the Zonda when you pay a, lot, a bunch of money for it. But yes, this is the launch. And so, when I start first started to swerve, I did think it was very uh, twitchy or, well, I don't know, it was... It felt like it was going to oversteer pretty easily. Um, that was my first impressions, but later on when I started trying it, it, it is a lot better than you think. Or well, <laughs> at least what I thought. But after driving being around in the city for a while, uh, I never really oversteered, like, I didn't really spin out at all. And I think it might just be a good thing, like, the steering is very, uh, very responsive. I guess so. But yes, yeah, so I did take it into a race, as you can see here, uh, just to feel uh, what it feels like properly. And I did notice when you started going faster, the car did really stick a lot. Like when you go in lower speeds, the, the aerodynamics of it, like the wings and stuff, doesn't take effect as much. But it really does when you go fast. So, going through the corners, uh, it really did stick up. And it did take them very well. And, well, I also kind of failed because I was trying to focus on commentating and uh, 
feeling what the car felt like. Now, would I say this car is like super good? Uh, not necessarily, because it didn't feel uh, really too different to uh, the other cars that are in the game. Yes, so after this run, I do have. Uh, I did get a very good impression of it. Uh, it did take corners <laughs> well, uh, and yeah, it, just, it didn't really want to start sliding or anything, so that's a good thing. <laughs> Looking at the interior of this thing, it looks very, it's a very unique interior, um, and the, it, I really like the wheel. It looks kind of retro, it looks like something that you'd find out of an old supercar with a for example, the wood, I, I think it's the wood that are, the wood accents on the wheel. Now I still am interested in maxing this thing out because it is a hypercar and I'm interested to see if it will be able to uh, compete against the LaFerrari like when it's maxed out to see if it um, can go as quick because the, all know that the LaFerrari is kind of the go-to car when doing perf races because it's so OP. So I'm interested to see if this thing can be as OP. Now overall, it's just such a good looking car, so yeah, I'll, I'll probably do it either way, just because <laughs> how good it looks. But yeah, so that is the Bikani Zonda F. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, you can leave a like, show the like, and, and you can subscribe to see more of my videos. And also, if this is your first video that you see of mine, uh, I usually don't do uh, commentaries like this, I usually do live commentaries, so yeah. Now also, please tell me if you know of a good way of comparing cars, um, then please tell me in case you know of a good way that, that you would like to see um, tested when I do these cars. But um, yes, thanks for watching, my name is Sam and I'll see you in the next one.